base and let us draw the principal axis and from on the principal axis let us consider object O from the object suppose a ray is going in fact large number of rays are going but we are considering one ray here another ray along the principal axis along the principal axis and this incident ray incident at the point n at n we draw the normal we draw the normal and extend the normal to cut the principal axis at the point c so this is the normal now these are the incident ray and it is refracted ray the refracted ray incident at the point i that is the image formation so o is the object o is the object and i is a image i is nothing but image so this is i i is image and uh, this is the center of curvature therefore this distance we can take r so this is the r and uh, the angle between uh, this is a refracted ray so and it is normal so angle between normal and refracted what is that that is r so it is the angle of refraction and angle between incident ray and normal so that is angle of incident and uh, the left side part is a medium is a first medium call it as a first medium and call it as a second medium and the refractive index of the first medium is n1 refractive index of the second medium is n2 this is the refractive index now we have to establish the relationship between the two refractive indices that is the n1 and n2 and uh, also we have to establish the relationship between the object distance and image distance that where object distance is let us call it as a u and the image distance image distance is v and we have to obtain the relationship between the refractive index n1 n2 and the object distance image distance and the radius of curvature and these are related by one equation what is that n2 upon v minus n1 upon u equals to n2 minus n1 upon r so they are related by this relation and today we are going to obtain this relation now we consider the point m here that is nothing but as good as the pole now for our these calculations we do consider nm as a small as possible so small aperture and when it is a small aperture we can get the three triangles here what are the three triangle first triangle this is the first triangle that is triangle nom and we get the second triangle that is ncm and one more triangle we get here n i m so we got the three triangles for the first triangle we find out tan of n o m 
that is M N upon O M. And for that second triangle, tan of N C M that is equals to M N upon M C. And for the third triangle, tan of N I M equals to N M upon M I. Since we have taken the small aperture, therefore we know that when theta is small, tan theta approximately equal to theta. Therefore, here tan of n o m that is approximately n o m equals to m n upon o m. Similarly, angle n c m equals to m n upon m c. Similarly, angle n i m equals to n m upon m i now we can consider one more triangle this is the one more triangle here we apply the sum of the internal angle equals to external angle that is angle n o m plus angle n c m equals to angle i therefore m n upon o m now we are using this and this one so m n upon o m plus m n upon m c equals to i now call it as equation one after that here and this triangle this triangle this nothing but n c i and here is a m so this for this triangle angle n angle i are internal angle and angle c becomes external angle therefore therefore angle r here is the angle r therefore r plus angle n i m equals to angle n c m implies r equals to angle n c m minus angle n i m therefore angle r equals to angle n c m that is m n divided by m c minus n i m angle n i m that is n m divided by m i call it as a equation number 2 now applying snell's law so that is nothing but n1 into sin i equals to n2 into sin r this is nothing but snell's law and for small angle we can neglect the trigonometry part that is n1 into i equals to n2 into r what is the i value i value nothing but mn upon om plus m n upon m c equals to n2 what is the n2 n2 is the refractive index of the second medium n2 into r that is m n upon m c minus m n upon m i m n taking common both side
So we get 1 upon OM plus 1 upon MC equals to N2 into MN is taken common here. So 1 upon MC minus 1 upon MI. Both side M and MN get cancelled. So we get N1 into 1 upon OM plus 1 upon MC equals to N2 into 1 upon MC minus 1 upon MI. From diagram OM, MC and MI we can obtain. From diagram OM nothing but object distance and it is left side of the pole so we can take it negative so minus u and after that we have here image distance that is right side of the pole that is v and uh, that is mi equals to v it, it can be taken positive so mi equals to plus v and mc mc right side of the pole that is taken positive so plus r now putting these values in above equation so we get n1 into 1 upon minus u plus 1 upon r equals to n2 1 upon mc that is 1 upon r minus 1 upon mi that is v now opening the bracket so we get here n minus n1 upon u plus n1 upon r equals to n2 upon r minus n2 upon v so minus n1 upon u and plus n2 upon v equals to n2 upon r minus n1 upon r so this can be written as n2 upon v minus n1 upon u equals to n2 minus n1 upon r this relation is very very important relation because it is relating the refractive index left side of the given surface spherical surface and the refractive index at the right side of the surface and it is also relating the object distance image distance and the radius of curvature thus this relation is relating refractive indices and object distance image distance and radius of curvature and this relationship can be utilized in many other spherical surfaces such as in case of lenses even we can utilize this relationship so it is very very important relationship let us summarize the points we had here one surface curved surface left side refractive index n1 right side refractive index n2 we drawn the ray diagram after that we obtain the three triangles and we obtain the expression for angle of incident and we obtained the expression for angle of refraction on the basis of sum of internal angle equals to external angles now by using these relationships we applied the snell's law n1 i1 equals to n2 r and after that n1 i equals to n2 r after that we put the value of i and r simplified the equation and we got the relationship and what was the relationship n2 upon v minus n1 upon u equals to n2 minus n1 upon r so this was the relationship so 
it was a quite easy only thing we have to just uh, correlate the equation 1 and 2 so you just do the practice one or two times writing practice then you will you will never forget it meet you again with another topic till then wish you good luck all the best if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel meet you again with another topic till then wish you good luck